Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Brown Butter Perch. And not just any perch, super, super fresh perch, ice fished just minutes before we cooked it. So I drove out to the secret Finger Lakes location. You'll notice the background is blurred because if I gave away their secret spot, they would kill me. That's how serious these people are about fishing. And there they are, the Fitzpatricks, my hosts, some of my dearest, oldest friends in the world. From left to right, that's Jamie, Holly, Renee, and Hunter, who, as you'll see later, basically steals the show. And there they are in the hut. I don't even know if that's called a hut. I'm going to call it a hut. But it's a little enclosure that goes over the ice fishing holes. And this device here is some kind of fish sonar that lets you know where the bottom is. It's all very scientific. But all I knew is I was going to eat fresh perch. So there's Jamie in the hut fishing. There's his wife Renee drilling a hole with the auger. I was shocked and dismayed at how thin the ice was. It was only like, you know, six inches thick. But it held this, which is really the important part. Had I gotten there a couple hours earlier, you would be watching me pulling some perch out of the water. But here is Holly kind of showing what it would have looked like if I had done it. Okay? And these perch are so beautiful. And they had made quite a haul. And of course, the biggest one of the day was caught by Hunter. All right? Now, is it me or does this kid really, really like ice fishing? Who caught that one? Me. <laughs> What's that called when you get the biggest fish? King of the hill. Shouldn't it be called the king of the lake? <laughs> nah, king of the ice. All right. So they did all the hard work for me, waking up early and catching all these fish. I mean, look at those. Is that a beautiful, beautiful fish or what? The only way those could be more beautiful is if they were frying in a pan, which was the next step. Jamie, who's an electrician, cleverly hooked up a battery to an electric knife, and here he's demoing a very, very quick and easy technique for filleting the fish. All right, the first cut takes it off the bone. He stops just before the tail, flips it, and then continues the cut, which removes the meat from the skin. After which, Holly and Hunter have their hunting knives out, and they are finishing the job by taking off that bottom section, and it leaves you just with this beautiful, beautiful fillet. And then Jamie asked them to make sure they still have the same number of fingers they started with, which is always a good idea. How many fingers you got? Ten. Always. All right, preparation was really simple. All we had was a little camp stove, which we put on high, throw the pan on there, a large chunk of butter. Okay, this is a really simple recipe. It's basically butter and a seasoned flour. So all that is is flour with salt, pepper, a little bit of cayenne. All right, we've made those before. I'll put a recipe on the site, but any kind of seasoned flour works. You dredge your little pieces of perch fillet in the flour till coated, and then you wait. Now what you're waiting for is that foam on the top of the butter to turn a nut brown. That's perfect right there. At that point, I put in the fish. Now again, we're on a camp stove, so this is cranked up all the way. At home, you're talking about medium heat. And those are so small, those only took about two minutes aside, if that. And you can see that amazing brown butter. All right, toasting butter like that gives it this great, great flavor and aroma. And for fish this amazing, you don't want a lot going on. So all we did was some brown butter, like I said, that seasoned flour, and then we're going to put a little lemon, and that's it. So after about two minutes per side, we were ready to taste this. A little bit of fresh lemon, and then Hunter was our first subject. Wait, hot, very hot. How is it? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, give me one more. Fresh fish. Except I didn't quite get that first shot, so I told him to go slower. I didn't say eat slow. There you go. <laughs> hot, hot. Don't burn your mouth. Mm. How is it? You gonna share some of that fresh fish? <laughs> and he really seems to be enjoying it. Then it was my turn, and I know I never appear in the videos, but it was so delicious. I made an exception. Note to self: learn how to put sunglasses on your head. Amazing. <laughs> Then we fried up another batch, and then another batch, and a couple more batches until they were gone. Now the last batch is the best, because you're not going to put any more fish in the pan. You can deglaze the pan with a little bit more lemon juice, and those last couple are incredible. And by the way, Jamie and Hunter are demoing a cutting-edge fried fish pairing. Don't burn your mouth out. It's very hot. You'll blow on it. Dunk it, dunk it in your applesauce if you want to cool it off. Uh, oh man. <laughs> no. I don't care. Applesauce and fried perch. All right. That was so much fun. 
Thank you, Fitzpatrick, for inviting me. That fish was so incredibly succulent and sweet, it was unbelievable. Okay, now obviously, you're probably not gonna get fish that fresh, all right, unless you do know a nice fisherman, but this will work with any delicate, white, flaky fish, brown butter, seasoned flour, couple minutes per side, fresh lemon, it doesn't get any better than that. So if you're one of these people that says, oh, I don't know how to cook fish, I just showed you. If I can do it on a frozen lake with like no equipment, you can do it in your kitchen. So get some fish or make friends with some ice fishermen. Give this recipe a try. All the ingredients are on the site as usual. And as always, enjoy. Mm -hmm.